Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review today. I'm here to tell you all about the latest album from Abysmal Dawn, Philogenesis, out April 17th on Season of Mist. The album has nine tracks, 43 minutes in length, and this is the band's fifth full-length studio album. This album is, without a shadow of a doubt, a huge step, let's call it a leap. This is just a leap forward for this band. One of the main characteristics of this album that I really enjoyed is the fact that this is a brutal death metal album, but it's not just a brutal death metal album. It has a lot of technical death metal elements, it has a lot of melody, and that in my opinion really allows the overall sound of the album to be more broad, to have a more broad spectrum of sound, which really enriches the quality and power of the songs and overall of the record. This to me allows the album to have a very important characteristic. It's not one dimensional. This is not an album that the way it sounds with the first song is the way it's gonna sound all the way to the last song. This dynamic of having a main core or a main spinal cord of brutal death metal with these sprinkles of other elements coming into play, it allows the, the songs to have a common denominator all the way through so it has something that connects every single track but then the elements that are added to it allows each song to have a different structure, a different dynamic, a different approach. The style of the solos is different, the drumming, uh, where they put the solos, how the songs are constructed. All of these different elements change ever so slightly from song to song, which allows the album to be fresh, to be very dynamic, to have great playability from the first to the last song and not sound repetitive, which to me is really important for a genre like death metal or brutal death metal because there is always this sense of songs feeling like they're very similar to each other, or very interconnected with each other, and that allows the album to sound repetitive. It's not the case with this record, and to me that's one of the huge positives that this album has to offer, is really the dynamic fluidity that it has from track to track. I mentioned a little bit of drums, I really want to start off by talking a little bit more about the drums because I really felt that the drums on this album was one of the main, uh, the main driving forces of the record. They're absolutely brutal and unforgiving at every single turn. Perhaps one of the main components that really stays true through every single song is the brutality that the drums have to offer. I really like it, I really like the sound, I really like how they were used in the tracks really providing the songs with a lot of power, a lot of strength, a lot of volume. I really love that and I love how they interacted with the other elements. Sometimes being the main focal point of the song or at least the main driving force, keeping everything connected, sometimes dropping a little bit more into the background, allowing other elements to shine, but you always feel like the drums are a huge presence throughout this record. You cannot sit down and listen to this album and be completely oblivious to how powerful, how strong how intense the drums are on this record. On the guitar side, I really love the melodies. I really love what they did with the guitars, with the riffs, the solos. I like how much brightness, how much power, and even a little bit of darkness was included into how the solos sound on this record. It, it allowed the solos to be counterintuitive compared to how the drums sound. So the drums are pushing you in one direction, and most of the times the solos are taking you in a complete opposite direction. I like that. I like the diversity of sound as far as the guitars is concerned. I like even some of the grooviness that they have. I felt that in some moments, in some parts of the song, they were even groovy. Uh, not just heavy, not just brutal, but groovy. I like that aspect. I like the melody that they incorporated. The guitars were always one of the main, if not the main element of melody throughout the, the record. They're not always melodic, the guitars don't always have a, a melodic sound to them, but when there's melody in the song, it's definitely coming from the guitars. Vocally is a robust album. No dips, no valleys, there's no changes, there's no uh, uh, adornments to the way the vocals come across, there's no added features to it. They're brutal, they're straightforward, and to me they really work well with the overall so sound that this record has to offer. Perfect partner to the overall sound of the album. How brutal, how straightforward, uh, how simple, you would say, the vocals are on this record. Works really well. They didn't try to do too much with it, they didn't try to be too fancy, they just wanted the vocals, in my opinion, to be there, to deliver the lyrics, to deliver the message, and really tie the songs together, to give the songs this extra push. In my opinion, that's what the lyric, that's what the vocals do on this record, because like I said, they're very simple in their approach, and they're very brutal and straightforward. I really enjoy uh, how the vocals were used, or at least how they were not 
uh, fondle with on this album. Very important, once again, in order for everything else, for all the other pieces to fall into place and for this record to have a, a, a very a, a very strong sound, a, a very well-crafted sound all the way through from the first to the last song. In my opinion, overall, this album will open a lot of doors for Abysmal Dawn and it will not only open the doors, we'll also get them a seat at the table. I really feel that strongly about this album. This to me is really an album that will gather a lot of attention. If people out there are not familiar with the band, they've never heard them before, if they put this record on, they will know that this is a band that they're gonna be listening to, not just for the duration of this record, but for years coming forward, because this is an album that will really captivate the fans of death metal, the fans of brutal death metal. I would feel like even the fans of technical death metal will gravitate towards this album because there's a lot of technical death metal included into this record. So I think there's gonna be a lot of fans from different genres within the death metal arena that will gravitate towards this album and therefore opening the doors, getting the band a seat at the table. This is a magnificent record. As far as songs are concerned, I wanna start off with a spec in the fabric of eternity. My favorite song on the record. I really love this track. I love the brutality that this song has, and I love the melody that it has. It's more straightforward approach in the verses, more brutal, more uh, more death metal, if you will, in the verses, a lot more melodic in the chorus. So it really gives the song this two-prong approach, verses and chorus. But then you feel, while they're separated at the beginning of the song, as the song moves forward, these two worlds start to merge together. They start to come together as the song progresses. The solo is very powerful on this track. It has a lot of melody, but also a lot of heaviness. So the solo almost is the the the, the climax of those two worlds coming together that you feel like they're coming together throughout, throughout the track and then the climax at the solo. The closing of the track is the nail in the coffin. Heavy, melodic, brutal, pure aggression all the way through to the last note. Next, True to the Blind, a song that has a lot of brutality and the brutality really comes from the drums. The drums really hold the destiny and they hold the reins of this track from the beginning all the way to the end. The vocals almost seem to try to guide the brutality of the drums. The two are really uh, in a symbiosis, if you will. I feel like the vocals are really trying to tame the Wild Stallion that it is the drums on this track, but it, I feel like they're having a hard time doing it because the, 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 the drums are always so volatile throughout the song with ups and downs, with different changes of tempos, momentums. I really like that. And I like that the vocals feel like they can control it, but they're struggling to hold, to hold them tight. That is the feeling that I get when I listen to this song. A song that even with all the brutality, it still has sprinkles of melody. And like I said before, that melody always comes through with the guitars. The guitar is there's the predominant element of melody throughout the record and in this song, you get a few sprinkles. Not too much, but a few sprinkles of melody throughout. The overall uh, feel of the song is a straightforward, brutal death metal track that really takes absolutely no prisoners uh, from the beginning all the way to the end. It's just really intense, really heavy all the way through. Last but not least, Flattering of Emotions, the last song on the album, the closing track of the record. Great drum opening. I really love what they did with the drums here because this being the last song on the record is a song that also relies a lot on the drums, but giving the intro just a, almost the drum solo as the intro is very appropriate for an album that in my opinion really has the drums as the driving force of the sound to close off an album with a track that starts off with a drum solo really works well. It's almost like the, the, the cherry on top, uh, as far as I'm concerned. So I really like that opening. Uh, it really allows the track to, to, to feel like it's gonna showcase what the drums can do or what the drums have been doing all the way to this point. And I really feel like that's what you're gonna get. This is a demolishing track. It, it, just, it just has a lot of power, it has a lot of heaviness, has a lot of brutality. Uh, the song, in my opinion, has a perspective of putting an exclamation mark on this record as far as the drums are concerned. It just really shuts the door, the curtains are, are closed, movie is over, time to go home. That's the feel that I get as far as the drums and this track is concerned. It's really a culmination of everything that you've been hearing from the first song all the way to the last song. The relentless death metal that you're gonna get on this track is absolutely powerful. I feel it, you feel it in your bones. This is a song that doesn't have a lot of vocals in it, and to be honest with you, this could be an instrumental track. It has all the hallmarks of a great instrumental track, of a brutal instrumental track, and I almost wish they made this into an instrumental track because I really feel like this song, just on, on, on the music alone, it, it just, it stands on, on its own two legs. It just has a lot of power, 
I love the structure. I love the dynamic changes that it has. I love a little bit of the light that it comes in with the solo. The solo is very powerful, almost as powerful as the drums, but it has a little bit more light while the drums have a lot more darkness. So I really like the structure of the song. I love the sound, perfect closing track. And in my opinion, the perfect closing track from a drum perspective, considering the barrage that you've been, you've been faced with from the first to this, to this last song. So absolutely great track to finish off the record with. All right, guys, this is it. This is Abysmal Dawn with Philogenesis out April 17th on Season of Mist. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those as always and getting back to you. Take care, guys.